Hello everyone, hello and welcome. Uh, good evening, good afternoon, good night, I, wherever you are, hello, it's Inkiri, uh, great pleasure to be here with you tonight, uh, it's 9.31pm here in, uh, in Lille, and as you can see, uh, we're here to watch a good match of the 10th EBTV division, a uh, match that will oppose Splash O'Clock and, and uh, Silers. Uh, let me give you a quick recap of uh, the players. So for Splash O'Clock we have Shadow, Squishy, Mikan, Quirrell and Leia. And uh, on Silas' side we will have, uh, let me get it quick, Neptune, Togem, Saturn, Mercury, Mars, uh, Just Rocks, and I think it's good. Lining up for the first match, we have Shadow, Squishy, Mikan, Cruel, again, Just Rocks, Neptune, Mercury, and Saturn uh, for a Clam Blitz on the Menta Maria. Hope you're doing all right uh, on your side. Uh, don't hesitate to tell me if you have any problem with uh, the stream. Uh, we, whether it's a sound problem, I don't know. Just tell me. And uh, in a few seconds, we should be in the match. Uh, we just need Cruel to check it. And don't forget to cheer up for the team you want to see win. And we are going straight into the game. Splash O'Clock will be in yellow, Sailors in uh, blue-purple. With some pretty interesting compositions for a Clam Blitz. We have uh, Hydra for the range for Splash O'Clock and, of course, the 96 Gal Deco with the Kraken. And on Silas' side we have, uh, as you can see, an Explosher uh, with the rain no Kraken. Uh, so no, no Kraken cheeses. And right at the beginning, uh, one kills for each side. Be careful, Neptune here, trying to rush Mikan, but yeah, getting punished pretty hard by Squishy. Squishy trying to get the kill on Mercury. It's done by the backline, and they already have those specials, Tri Strikes and um, and Kraken. Salas need to be careful here. Mercury is a bit alone on the top, lacking some range to really be effective, but be careful, Quirrell, yep, getting punished right now, Squishy, it's now its turn to be alone. Hey, and nicely done here by Quirrell. on the right with sudden here and the exposure dealing some good damages but no kills here maybe on shadow yep on shadow minus three it's the right time to push for silas but the knee clan they only have one they got a minus three but no clans to push Nice defense here by Mikan, getting the minus two on Mercury. Just works here. But yeah, getting punished. 1v3 is a bit hard. Looking on the top grid. Yep. Punished by Mikan. Shadow here on uh, on Mercury. Squishy, nice kill here. And again, each team lacks some clams to push. Like there are some kills taken, but they yeah they like they lack some clams. They need them to to push, and it's just a constant neutral position here. No team really taking the advantage. 
or some teams taking the advantage but not getting anything from it. <sighs> he fell off! Mikan! She fell off! Straight into into the bridge. Bottom bridge. Oh nice kill here by Mercury. Maybe a minus two, minus three, I don't know, no getting punished. Nice recover here from Mikan. The Hydra player making the work. Neptune here on the right, maybe taking one kill or two on Shadow. Maybe Mikan, yep, Mikan. Again, very defensive, very good at defending the positions. And it's time for the Kraken. Kraken cheese is done. The TP is here, but only 20 points, maybe some, some little clams. Yes, nice bomb here. Amazing wipeout. The game is on. The game is on for Splash O'Clock, but now everything has to be done for Silas. They need to come back from this with only like 30 seconds left after this push. Squishy again with some clams. 30 points left. Squishy is surviving again and again. And yes, as I said, less than 30 seconds left to make a huge push to recover from this. It will be hard from Silos. And yeah, Mikan taking the minus two here, maybe minus three on the TP. Be careful of those duelies, but amazing work from Mikan. Tossing clams to each other, but ah, they lost themselves. They lost themselves. But yeah, with a short overtime like this, I don't think Silas can. Oh, they got barrier. Got the barrier done, and so win, first win, first game for Splash O'Clock, very well done. Let me set up the map. It will be, as you can see, a tower control on Sturgeon Shipyard. Pretty interesting map. Um, not very good for the for the weapons with amazing ranges like Litter. I mean, they can mm, do w the work here, but you are so much uh, endangered by low range weapons uh, like slushes, like rollers etc you can be flanked very easily there's a need to pay attention to this and I mean everything should be good if the teams pay attention to this let me do a quick um, recap on what's going on in division 10 so as you may know we are in the fourth um, fourth week of the competition and so far we have uh, Crimson Tide at the top with already four match played uh, so 12 points four wins uh, only six games dropped that's not a lot uh, and for our team so we have Splash O'Clock on the third third spot uh, three match played two win one lose six points Pretty good, and unfortunately, Silas uh, are with three match played, three loses, uh, only four games taken, and so yeah, they are for the moment on the bottom of the division. Maybe they can come back after this, but uh, we'll see. I just saw the score wasn't updated. Sorry, but yeah, everything. Seems to be fine for 
splash o'clock for splash o'clock sorry except that one little lose uh they lost to splat diamond sigma uh and those two teams are tied for the third place uh splash o'clock is a bit ahead uh with a better better win lose re record on game um let me ask you shadow if everything is okay about the switches and we should be good to go uh i saw leia making uh making her appearance here and i think we all went off Okay, everything's good for both teams. We can just go straight into the game. After each team is ready, uh, after each team has selected their weapons, their strategy. So yeah, as I said, you have to pay attention to flank on this map. Um, flanks, especially when you're pushing. Uh, as you may know, in tower control, the um, the tower goes right on your right. So the left path is completely uh, empty. So you have to be careful when pushing. Uh, you can get attacked pretty easily by the defensive, uh, by the the defenders so pay attention to this pay attention when you're pushing to your spinner uh, a lot of weapons like rollers um, blasters slashers pretty much every slayer weapon will want to go on that spinner to get you and it's a very good position very good offensive position so yeah when you're defending pay attention to this Charge your specials, uh, it's not a map where you have to rush the defense. It's a map where you have to be careful on the defense and play it safely. With that said, let's get into the game number two, tower control on Sturgeon Shipyard. And the Tri Slusher making its appearance in the end of Shadow. Uh, Leia taking the ends up. And a Dynamo coming for from Silas' hand with Saturn. Already the Zuka is up for Juice Rocks. Shadow making some kills here, minus two. But getting punished, Squishy going forward to follow its teammates. But staying safe. He got the strikes. He need he needs to use them. Ah, now getting killed by Neptune. Neptune punished by Shadow, and it's time very good time to push for a silo, uh, for a splash o'clock. But careful of Saturn here on the back. As I said, going on the left pass and the wipeout. Very good wipeout here. Silas now in position to to counter push. And yeah, as I said, Rustrox on the spinner getting instantly punished by Squishy, already minus two. Saturn watching uh, watching Squishy. But be careful of Mikan's range. Mikan here on the bottom left, watching for Juice Rocks. Not taking the kill. But keeping keeping him far away. Finis here on the bottom with uh, the Rapid Blaster Pro. Maybe a call on Mikan. Nope. The Booyah is here to save the day. Venus a bit alone with the vacuum taking one trade kill on Shadow. 
Lay on the defense, it's wipe out. Very nice push here by Squash O'Clock. Three minutes left. They have time to Yeah, to get their playing their play ready. But already very good aggressivity here by Saturn. Taking two good kills. Taking three good kills, amazing. Minus three. Mikan is alone. And so yeah, very good occasion for Cyrus to to go ahead. The vacuum is out to protect. Yeah, the Buya can't be th thrown. Nice kill here on Leia. Maybe the lead by Silas. They need to hold on. Shadow here, very good aggressivity, going for the kills but not getting any. Their pass checkpoint two. It's almost a full bad here, but no. Again, Splash O'Clock's defense is here with Mikan. Again, very nice kill here on the Splatana. Venus on the top. Buya is up. Thrown on the right side. Ooh, but here Neptune, be careful of him. Get taking maybe the kill on Squishy. Nope. Well thought. But uh, yeah, the positions are, are hard to gain here. It's been a long neutral neutral game, but the wipeout is here. Venus is the only one. And yeah, they will hold the position. No need to, to push, no need to um, to make any any aggressive moves. They just need to hold positions for 50 seconds. Vacuum is out. Didn't suck up the the Booyah Bomb. And so, yep, yeah, getting punished by Squishy here. Minus two. It's time to push Squishy here on the spinner with the strikes. Mikan, that was not uh, what I expected from a Hydra. But, I mean, why not? Taking the kill here. Getting punished by Venus. Minus two on each side. Shadow a bit alone against Venus. The TP is here. And yeah, with 10 seconds left and a minus three, I think it will be, yeah, minus four. It will be the win for Silas getting their first game and instantly answering to Splash O'Clock's first win. Very good game too here by Sellers. Uh, very good defense, very good push. Splash O'Clock was close to get them, but not close enough. And now we will see what's happening in Rainmaker on uh, Hagglefish Market. Pretty interesting map. Uh, this time the flanks are pretty much obvious, so you won't use them a lot. Um, I don't know how it's played in uh, Division 10, but I mean, flanks are pretty rare on this map. Uh, the map is built to have flanks uh, with these two streets uh, on each side of the um, of the mid. But I mean, they're pretty obvious, pretty easily easily watched out. So yeah, we'll just see how. How the teams play. No switches uh, for Splash O'Clock. But one switch for Silas, apparently. Yeah, Mercury is in. Let's see who goes out. I couldn't see it. Because why not? After all, <laughs> why seeing?
Just asking if everything is good for the teams. Uh, we had one sh switch from Silas, but just making sure I'm not doing any mistake about this. All good. All set. And the switch having troubles. Yep. Communication error. Yes. I love it. I don't. Ah, uh, okay, so Splash O'Clock decided to make a switch when everything was supposed to be all good. So we had the disconnection. I mean, those things happen. But yeah, we need to avoid that. Flash o'clock are here. Um, now we just need Silas being back. Yeah, don't worry, Krewal. No problem with this. And I mean, it's not even your fault. Like the the little mistake came from Splash o'clock, but I mean, it's nothing. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Krewal is from Splash o'clock. My bad. My bad. My bad. But yeah, no, no worries. Almost done, we just need one more player and everything should be good. Yep, everything's alright. Going straight into it. Already red, already ready for Silas. All four players are good. So yeah, we just need a shadow now, and it should be good. The game will launch right now.
And I mean, I think it's the same comp on Silas' side. But the carbon from Shadow making its appearance here. Shadow, you will die from the pop if you stay here. Yep. But no dead. Pop was for Silas, but... Oh, nice kill here. Nice minus two. Amazing minus two by Shadow. Maybe taking the minus three on Venus. Mercury a bit alone behind. Not able to, to stop the push for uh, from Splash, Splash O'Clock. But making an end to it after the checkpoint. A bit late on the defense, but the, the defense was good. Oh, but... That's aggressive by Neptune. Mercury versus Shadow. Shadow taking the best from uh, from them. Luca is out. Careful of Neptune here on the right side. Nice kill on Shadow. Mikan in the back. Last line of defense. Getting menaced by Venus. Zuka, uh, Buya, sorry, is out with um, the vacuum. No kill with the vacuum. Venus a bit alone here. Neptune dying. Minus three. Again, time to push for Splash O'Clock. This time that they have the ramp available, they can push all they want. Like as much as Silas allow them to push, but. Yeah, 36 points left is good, especially on this map, it's, it can be pretty hard to go further than this. Neptune going through it alone, without anyone! <laughs> what?! That was ambitious? But... Ah, it was good! It was a nice try! It was a nice try! But yes, Saturn is now alone. It will be tough for Silas. Shadow already very ahead. Going forward with uh, his carbon. Shadow again, again, not taking any kills, but lagging a lot from what I can see. <laughs> taking the kill on Saturn, opening the way up for his, for his team. Nice kill here on, uh, on Venus. Time to extend the lead, maybe go to the KO, the kill is taken, and yeah, the game. It's game for Splash O'Clock. Making it... 2 to 1 I want to <laughs> I want to give credit to the move uh, Silas did I don't remember what which one it was but that move with the checkpoints going to the ramp up on the um, on Splash O'Clock's plat to try and take the checkpoint was a pretty good try. It's sad it didn't work out, but I mean, it was it was good to see. It was good to see. Just waiting for the answers of each team.
just asking me just Roxy if everything is good. And yeah, as you can see, going for a splat zone game on Macromart. Uh, pretty usual, us usual map mode com combination. Uh, I mean, in my opinion, it has everything a good competitive map needs. Uh, some good flanks, uh, some height. Uh, it's good for range, it's good for... Uh, low range. I mean, the map is good for pretty much every weapon. So we can be sure we will see good actions on this map. So no, there's no risk about this. And I mean, pretty much every game is different on this one. So always interesting to see. Because the map is good for almost every type of weapon, you can't really know what's going to happen. Like, we'll have good fights, but that's all you that's all you can predict. And going per game for Splash O'Clock has the lead. Uh, can they maintain it? I don't know, and we have a pretty interesting composition with Machine and uh, Explosher for Silas. And the appearance of a pencil here, taken by Leia. Already trying to, to ink the zone, but a bit late. Saturn is here. But Shadow is here punishing him. Careful of this one, careful of Mercury. Zuka is out to take the kill, but. Yep, it's done. But yeah, they need they they needed to take the to take the turf. Cyrus could like uh, they came back very fast here. Specials are charged on both sides. Just right here against uh, against Shadow, taking the good kill here. And no time to turf. They need to have the turf. They need to paint everywhere they can in order to to force Splash to to yeah show themselves. You can't leave any flank any flanks to to the opposing team. Yes, Mercury trying to ink back the zone. Nicely done. The cooler is uh, is ready. Nice kill on Shadow. Minus three. They're alone. Careful, Mercury. Yep. Getting punished here by Mikan. Mikan may be a bit too aggressive on the exposure. Don't show your back, just rocks can be dangerous. But yes, the zone is again inked by Stylus. Splash Rock a bit struggling to, to keep it. Make sure you're punished by Squishy. Ink strikes are up. The Ink Storm was up to Shadow getting the kill on Saturn. Mercury and Venus on the right side with the good um, good beacons here. Squishy on, on Venus. Yep. Getting the kill, but they need to turn the zone now. Yeah, they don't get the zone. 
Big Crusher is watching it. Nice kill on Saturn. Just rocks with the strikes. Trying to get a kill on Mikan. Mikan is alone. Weak. Yep. It's done, but it's still hard. The zone is very well fought. Neutral position again. Splash O'Clock now taking it. They need that lead now. They absolutely need it. And. Ah, again, the penalty. Just like rushing here on the top right. Getting punished by Squishy. Careful of Mercury here. In the back, getting killed. Venus on the left. Mikan with a good eye here. And Splash of Love will take the lead. But instantly lose control of the zone. Very back and forth match here. With uh, one minute left, Special Club got the lead, but we can't know which team <laughs> will get the zone. Mercury, maybe some good kills. Yep, getting lost in a 1v4. That's at 30 seconds left. Kulo is out, but some good kills here, maybe on Mikan. Just for getting um, revenge killed. 20 seconds left. Silas now got the zone, and I think they will take the lead pretty easily. No, the strikes are in. The lead is taken, lost, losing control for Splash O'Clock. Five seconds left. Splash on need to take the zone back, but no time left. Oh, maybe one more second and they could have done it. But Silas securing this game four and again equalizing the score. Just waiting for the go. There's a switch uh, on Silas' side. Splash O'Clock staying with this composition. I mean, it works. Uh, it didn't work on this map, but they were close uh, from making it, making it work. And Neptune is in for Silas. Again, just waiting for the go. If you hear me, teams, say me you're good to go. I need it. <laughs> I need it to leave. No, seriously, I need the teams to, to tell me they're, they're good to go. So I try not making any mistake. And it's better they say it now. Okay for Silas, uh, just need to go from Splash O'Clock. And it's all good, all set.
I see two players from Silas. Uh, Special are getting ready very fast. Uh, so yeah, I don't think they have any composition changes. So I'll just stay with it. Venus left, 30 seconds. And yeah, we're good to go. Going in game for game five. Who will have who will have the match point first? That's what we'll see um, on Ship Shape Cargo and Company for a Clam Blitz match. And so yeah. Pretty much the same comps, Splash Luck going again for the 96 Gal. Uh, Octoshot Hydra ends up. And Silas going again for the Rapid Bra Blast Pro. And this time going themselves for the 96. Going with the Kraken. Shadow a bit alone here, defending again Mercury but getting punished. And the way is. Down for Neptune, but missing the clams. That was tense. Just Rock's trying to push, but the Kraken is too late. Nice kill by Mikan here on Mercury. And Wipeout. It's time to go for Splash O'Clock. They need to make some clams. They absolutely, absolutely need some clams to be able to push at the second they, they take, like, Two kills or three. But yeah, they're getting killed themselves, so pretty hard. Salus coming back from... Uh, coming back to mid. Almost getting a kill on Squishy. And the Kraken is out. But now they need Clam. Yeah, Just Rocks... You should go to the basket, Just Rocks. Yeah, the Kraken wasn't very good here. And this time is Splash O'Clock's time to go for the Kraken. And already going instantly to the basket, but they don't have any power clams here. Getting killed on Mercury, but yeah, the climb is a bit late. And Justrox with the Kraken again. But this time he's alone. And I think there's a very... Like a... Um, a big mistake in Justrox Krakens. He doesn't use them to push. He uses them to make some kills. And save himself. But not to go under the basket. And make it a super jump position. And I think that's why Silas can't push here. It's because the Krakens are useless, basically. We can have be careful of Mercury. Getting one kill. Getting... Oh, almost two kills, but Mikan with a good defense again. Justrox going for the Kraken, but... Yeah, again, the Kraken is just here to make some kills. And not to get, to get a push. Mercury alone on left side. Trying to get the kill here on Squishy. Very well done. Now going under the basket. Maybe taking a kill or two, but getting punished by Mikan. Mikan very on point. Uh, on her defense here today. Not letting anything pass. But this time, Justrox got it right. Yep, nice charge to go... To go back, but there's no TP. They just lost the climb from Squishy. And this time, I can assure you, it wasn't the fault of the Kraken. The Squishy, 
Fishy just getting the right kill in the right moment. And still no push on each side. And no, still. Still no, the kill on the power climb. Mercury making the good work here, but... Can Shadow get it? Yep, Shadow got it. It was maybe the only climb we will see in the basket uh, for this game. 30 seconds left, Silas need to make just one power climb and one little climb. That's all they need. But already Special Club going back for another push. Shadow, yeah, trying. The Kraken is out. Mikan with the power climb. Ilya with the wipeout, very good minus two here. Just hold the basket. Hold the basket, make some good kills. Yep, just rocks. Just had the, the matchup here. Last chance for Silas, they need to make the push here. Quick advice, just rocks, give the climb and put the Kraken, just right now. Yeah, Kraken is out. No, position, now the TP is too early. TP is way too early and timer ran out. Uh, so yeah, no time for Silas to come back. And so Splash O'Clock gets a match point. And as you can see, it it has already been, always been, sorry, back and forth. First game, Splash O'Clock. Second, Silas. Third, Splash O'Clock. Fourth, Silas. And fifth, Splash O'Clock. Uh, would it have a game seven with a game six win from Silas? I don't know. I hope so. I truly hope so. Uh, and this map will be very special. Tower control. Yeah, it, uh, it's a bit... Uh, bit strange. Tower control on Humback. Humback being a very strange map on its own. And not very played. Especially in tower control. So, yeah, we'll see how each team plays on this one. But it's a bit strange. Uh, it's not a map mode we we're, we're used to. Uh, not considered a very good map mode. I mean, you can like playing on it, but it's very it's really not for everybody. And we have a switch from um, from. Flash O'Clock. Trying different thing for the maybe last game. Shadow telling me it's all good for Splash O'Clock, but they I mean, the they only have three players here.
Okay. Uh, it's all good. Going for game six, so tower control on a uh, handback pump track. So yeah, you have to pay attention to some points on this map. Uh, especially the flanks. Again, the flanks will be very important. Um, it's a map with a lot of uh, highs and lows. Uh, I will call this like this. But yeah, fall off weapons are very good, so I think we will see the tri slasher. I think we'll see the dynamo. They are probably the two of the. They are two of the best weapons on this map. Uh, so basically, anything that has a um, a fall off or a short range will be good on this map. But don't take uh, long range long range weapons on this on this map. It's just it just sucks. Uh, long range weapons on this map uh, are just awful to play because you're just getting rushed down by everyone. So yeah, pay attention to this. You need a a solid composition on this map uh, and a composition specifically designed for these kind of maps in order to. To get it right. And what did I say about long range weapon? I mean, Hydra is alright. I'm doubting about the uh, Rapid Blaster here. Shadow instantly going for a flank, but instantly getting uh, getting seen. Maybe good kill here. Saturn doesn't have any ink, yep. Ordinary skill. Juice Rocks here on the, on the tower, getting a good kill here on Shadow. Important kill on Shadow. Fuel alone getting punished. Nice play by by Squishy. Maybe another kill on Venus. Nope. Falling to, uh, before this range. Vacuum is out. Not taking the kill. And yeah, a bit alone on the on the tower, so it's it can be hard. But already one checkpoint down. No. Uh, 52 points left. I mean, it's a good good first push uh, with one minute of play. Ooh, I felt that. I felt that through through this rock POV. Nice kill by Shadow. Venus forced to to jump off, and time to push for Splash O'Clock. It's their turn to make uh, to make everything work. A nice kill here on Mercury, but Venus. I mean, that's one thing we can't take of the rapid it's good in TC like it's a blaster you just go up to your range hit the tower and it should be good like you have a good defense with only this yep nice assist on Mikan Satin getting the kill and minus two it's time to push there's nobody in the for splash o'clock here shadow in the mid but yeah, Blast is very annoying here for uh, a weapon that needs to shark a lot. Nice kill on Mercury, we didn't see it, but it's here. Blast to battle between Cruel and, uh, and Venus. Maybe time to use a special squirrel. Yep, getting uh, the kill on uh, Andrew's rocks, but punished instantly by Saturn. Saturn not having any ink, falling before uh, before Shadow. Shadow using 
Shadow using its Yu Izuka against one poor uh, Rapid Blaster, it wasn't necessary. And yep, getting punished instantly by uh, by Sudden. Sudden killed by Quirrell, uh, there's no end, like, it's just neutral, some people getting some kills, but no team really pushing. So Splash of Luck keeps their lead by two little points, but two important points is if it's for the lead. Oh, Juice Rocks, nice move here. Nice play, Cruel trying to go back to mid, hitting Juice Rocks once, but not getting the second shot, the second shot right. Zuka is out. Nice kill on Squishy, but uh, not enough. Oh, amazing minus three, it's the time. 40 seconds left, they need to get the lead right now. Otherwise they just won't be able to push again. But the blast is threatening Venus. Nice kill here, 20 seconds left, again minus three. Squishy is alone, the wipeout is here, the lead, I we didn't saw it, but it's here. Uh, 10 seconds left, the vacuum is out. I don't think Splash of Luck can handle this. Mikan with the good kills, just rocks. Uh, Mercury wipe out. Whoa! Last chance for Jenny to go through one entire checkpoint and go to the, the third and last checkpoint. Mercury with a, with a very good kill. They need to get back on that one very quick. Saturn getting punished by Squishy, Mercury getting killed, Shadow is on the tower, there are some TPs. Shadow very forward here but not getting any kill, Mercury rushing, the strike, try strikes are here, Saturn going for some kills, Drus rocks a bit alone on the right with the Zuka, Venus is on the tower, and Silas got their game 7. Whoa, what an end! <laughs> That was tense. That was tense. Very nice try from Splash O'Clock, but yes, yeah, Silas just had a good defense on the end. And we will have a game seven. That's what we all like and want. Uh, game seven going for a uh, Rainmaker battle on Robo Ramen. Um, I mean, it's an okay map. Uh, I see it a lot in Splat Zone. Uh, I saw it quite a few times in Tower Control. In Clam Blitz. Uh, a bit less in Rainmaker, but I mean, why not? Um, I didn't play lots of Rainmaker in Robo Ramen, so I can't really judge. Uh, and so the match will tell us. Everything is good for Splash O'Clock, just asking if Tyler's is it's good for them too. Everything is good, all good, all set, uh, as I like to say. Rainmaker, Robo, Ramen, uh, teams are getting prepared. And you can't make any mistake in this game. Uh, you have to be perfectly set up. Take the time you need. Uh, I think you have like 100 seconds to prepare uh, before a game, so... Take this time. Think about it. And as I'm saying this, Splash O'Clock is not 
uh, taking the time. They are already ready to take the fight, take the win maybe. Uh, Silas taking a bit more time with Venus. Uh, maybe to talk about strategies, how to how to get into that game uh, as better as possible. That's the aim. I mean, it's a uh, game seven. It's the last game of the BO. Three on each side. It will be the decider. Venus is ready, so both teams are ready. Rainmaker Robo Ramen, Game 7 of Splash O'Clock versus Silas in EBTV Season 2 Division 10, Week 4. It's right here, right now. And a lot of aggressivity for Silas, no backline. Um, I mean, we can say that Dynamo is a bit backline, but to me it's more of a mid-weapon. Mid weapon that can play support or aggressive. Already one kill on the duelies. Squishy high here on the left side. Seen by Jusrox. Getting the kill on Jusrox and already the Red Maker broke through the checkpoint. And yeah, the pop is for Silas. Uh, they need to get back in defense and in offense very quickly. Shadow here, maybe the kill on Just Rocks. Yep, it's done. Already minus one, maybe mi minus two. Shadow taking the Rainmaker. I don't know if it's if it was wanted or not. But yeah, behind they were they were Mercury with a nice kill, nice wipeout. Silas will just push forward now instantly. Can't detect the checkpoint. No, 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 no. Shadow was already here. Saturn on the mid, maybe taking some kills. No. Alone for Silas. Shadow here again going forward. Juice works with the Zuka. Shadow has its own Zuka. Nice kill on Mercury. Squishy in the bottom right here. Going for Juice Rocks. Yep, nice kill. Strikes are ready. Saturn is a bit alone. Going for the jump off, but not quite getting it. Mercury again defending very well with the duelies. That was a nice bomb by Mikan. But be careful of this one. Yep, minus two. I mean, it's very close in this exact spot. Splash O'Clock can't push furthermore. And Silas just can't go forward because Splash O'Clock players keep coming. Nice kill by Squishy here, very important one. Getting the kill on Saturn, getting the one the kill on Venus. There's minus three here. Two minutes left. Mercury getting punished for this uh, aggressive super jump and going through the Booyah Bomb. And again, trying to push, trying to maximize every point. Every point, sorry. Leia pushing to 24 points left. And it just keeps going. Six points left. Down to the last, uh, the last checkpoint. I mean, it's not a checkpoint, but just under it, under the objective.
Yep, Mikan with the Booyah Bomb. Rainmaker reset, as you can see. But yes, Patrick already got it. That was a bit ambitious by Mercury, but I mean, it it seemed to work. Maybe getting a kill? Nope. Getting punished by the tri strikes from Squishy. 30 seconds left. Silas need to do a massive push now. And they won't have the chance of Splasho to just keep dying and dying and dying. But going forward a little bit more every time. I mean, they got 15 seconds left. They won't be able to do this. I mean, it's maybe the last Remaker death we will see. Mikan got it! And Mikan will just, yep, yeah, back off. Amazing! It's a Splash O'Clock wins. 4 to 3. Uh, at the end of an amazing match. Uh, I couldn't be more happy of this one. Both teams played very well at every game. So yeah, amazing play for both team. Uh, I have to give it, of course, to Splash O'Clock for the wins. Uh, especially Mikan with her amazing defenses uh, in the beginning of the set. So yeah, shout out to, shout out to her especially. Uh, but really shout out to every player. Shout out to you. Thank you for staying here. Uh, it was a blast to commentate this match. Um, and I mean, I'll see you tomorrow for a new match. I won't spoil you. Uh, oh yeah, I will tell you. Uh, so tomorrow uh, at 9 p.m. We will have Playad against Flat Diamond Omega. So pretty good match in Division uh, 8. Uh, if I don't make any mistake. So yeah, again, thank you all for watching. Thank you Splash O'Clock and Silas for the games. It was really cool to commentate them. Uh, have a good night, everyone. It was Inquiry. Bye-bye.